Hello and welcome back to my channel, Ping Pong Playbook. Uh, I'm Graham, and no doubt you've been following our Serving Secrets uh, series. Um, we've currently got two videos um, on the channel, which is uh, the Backspin Serve and the Reverse Pendulum Serve. And today we're going to be covering the antithesis of the Reverse Pendulum Serve, which is the Pendulum Serve. So where one goes one way, the pendulum goes the other way. Uh, however, before we get into that, I just wanted to say a thank you to some of our new subscribers. Um, again, uh, we've got subscribers from India and from America, which is fantastic. I never thought that it would grow quite this fast, so that's great. Um, please, again, if you do get some use out of these videos or you enjoy them, um, please remember to share, to like, subscribe uh, to the channel. Make sure you click the bell icon and um, yeah, you'll get notified of any new videos. I'm trying to uh, download as many videos as I possibly can in the shortest possible space of time. As you can appreciate, video editing does take quite some time. So without further ado, let's swing right in to the pendulum surf. Right, so the pendulum surf. Probably I would say that this is thought of um, throughout the world as the most popular serve. Um, I think it's one that uh, most people learn to begin with, more so than the backspin serve, because it does appear to be easier to some degree. Um, so what are we going to focus on today uh, concerning it? So we're going to build upon the, um, the message in the previous videos, which is to do with the handle and making sure that we get that racket head through the ball so that we can generate the maximum amount of spin that we can. Um, and we're also going to talk about where on the table we want to serve and what type of ball we want to get back. Now, with the uh, pendulum serve, the, the spin that we're gonna generate is clockwise spin. Now, if you have a ball which is spinning such as this and you put something in between, it wants to go off to the left. Uh, likewise for a reverse, if you are spinning it that way, put something in the way, it wants to spin off to the right. So the pendulum serve, if, if our opponent doesn't alter their bat angle, that ball will be returned to, as a right-handed player, to our backhand. I suppose it would be true if you were a left-handed player and you did the reverse, it would probably do the same. I'll have to check that. But um, when we serve here, if that person just touches that serve, it's going to come back to our backhand. So for players, especially me, who had a, a stronger backhand than forehand, um, I wanted the ball here so that I could then get in. And that's the whole point of a service is to basically keep your opponent out and deliver a ball, which then you can attack. It's no good the ball being being returned short and you have to play additional shots. Um, that said, the further up the table tennis uh, success ladder you go, your opponent will obviously become smarter and smarter and will understand how to return your serves and keep it tight. But then we need to talk later on about what third ball attacks and fifth ball attacks are and, and building all the way up to those kind of levels. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to focus directly on uh, getting that racket head through. So in addition to that, we need to obviously discuss, which we didn't discuss in the reverse pendulum video, which is about um, what type of spin we want to generate. Now, obviously with a reverse pendulum serve or a pendulum serve, we are talking about side spin. Hence the reason what I just discussed about it going off to the left or going off to the right. Now, with, with anything, with, with, a, with a ball, we can have a number of different combinations of spin. We can have back spin, we can have top spin, we can have uh, right-handed spin, we can have left-handed spin. But in addition to those, we can have any gradient of those types of spins. So we can have 
back and right hand side spin. We can have back and left hand side spin, top and left hand side spin, and top and right hand side spin. And obviously there's varying degrees of where we want to make contact with that ball. And that is frankly, let's face it, what makes table tennis so, so difficult. Reading spin. Um, pace and direction is usually quite easy if, if you can't physically get there, um, but you can usually see where the ball's going. Spin, because this ball can travel, uh, can spin rather, uh, many hundreds of revolutions per minute. Um, I'll check that, could even be thousands. Um, that is what makes this game, in my opinion, certainly a lot more difficult than tennis. Um, if you don't agree, make a comment in the, uh, in the comment section. Um, so let's get into it. So let's talk about the grip that's necessary for this pendulum serve. So here we would have a normal grip as covered in our other video. And for the, the pendulum serve, what we need to do is remove these three fingers so that we are gripping the bat with our thumb and forefinger. And then our wrist needs to be very, very loose. And that is our grip, nice and simple. And this is the same grip that you would use for your reverse. So make sure that your three fingers are comfortably off the blade and make sure that that racket is pretty loose in the hand. Okay, that's good. So, with the pendulum and reverse pendulum serves, we need to discuss um, how we can create different kinds of spin. So, for example, we are obviously going to be creating side spin. So, for the reverse, we're going to be creating uh, anti-clockwise spin. And for the uh, pendulum serve, which this is, we're going to be creating clockwise spin, side spin. Now, we can obviously create backspin. So um, you'd have your racket low, such as this, for backspin. Uh, for pure side spin, we would want the racket fully vertical. So we would create pure side spin. So we would hit through the ball and send that. It's very difficult to do a pure, back, a pure side spin serve because usually there's an element of a racket angle for backspin or for topspin. So again, for topspin, it's also very difficult for, for whatever angle you hold your racket to be able to uh, come over the top of the ball, to be able to uh, hit sort of this portion of the ball here. So in order to create a topspin pendulum serve, we come from underneath the ball and then we brush upwards upwards so as you can see the ball is is traveling so the writing is going forwards so as we hit that ball this way we're imparting topspin so the ball will do this if we're creating backspin we would come underneath the ball and we would just come flat so the ball will travel downwards so let's see this, a uh, couple of examples of this. So 
First of all, we're gonna we're gonna go backspin, so we're gonna just come downwards. So let's see the action of a topspin pendulum serve. So that will be this motion. So this is pure backspin and this coming up the back of the ball will be topspin. And again. Let's see those examples against our return board and so we can see the ball jumping up for the top spin and going down for the back spin. Like I said before, the ball should more than likely be returned over into the backhand side. So we'll see it jump that way, either downwards or upwards. Okay. So let's have a uh, Backspin pendulum serve first of all, and let's see if we can get the ball to, it'll go left off the board and it should come down. So you should see it come this way. That's if I hit the board. We have to remember to aim over to the left. So anyway, you see it went straight down. Let's see a similar action, this time the pendulum with topspin. Now you can see it kick up. Let's have another go at the backspin surf. Straight down, wants to come straight down. And again, pendulum serve with top spin. You see, boom, straight up. So let's let's see an example of, of a backspin pendulum serve. Hopefully we'll get it on. 